interesting thing about writing for teens is I don't think I ever consciously decided to do that. I was writing nonfiction, I was writing um, articles, I was writing picture books, I was, I was experimenting with who I was as a writer and when this story, um, Crank, which is my first novel, came to me, I had to tell it from the point of view of my daughter who happened to be a teen at the time and so it just was something that happened and then I discovered um, a real empathy and, and respect for this generation who, despite all their problems, despite how they look on the outside, they're all, what they want is love. And you know, that's a pretty basic human need to want love. And so it's, it's not that I want to write for them, it's that I have to write for them, I think. I, I choose my subject matter um, out of the ether, I guess. Um, subjects come to me from from in the news, readers, my family, um, friends, and often it's just um, a statistic or, or something I hear about that interests me on some level. At the time I started Crank, I wasn't even writing novels. I was a nonfiction writer, and it struck me that the story was bigger than my family and my daughter. It was a, a story that was touching so many lives that it might be an important story to write for a, for a broader audience. And um, you know, through the writing, I, I learned a lot about my family. I learned a lot about the decisions she made. What I strive to do is to get inside the heads of my characters and really ha have readers walk through the experience with them in, from the inside of their heads, like looking through their eyes. The real message I want my readers to get is no matter what they're experiencing, they're not alone in those issues. Uh, you know, addiction, the depression, the feeling that you need to cut to, re to re relieve your stress or to even maybe want to end it all. This is something that almost everybody experiences at some time in their lives. And I like them to know that, that there is hope, there's light beyond those dark places in their life and that the future is theirs to shape. It doesn't matter what has happened in their past. Um, they can choose to either let those things um, hurt them forever or they can choose to go rise beyond those things and my hope for them is that they will choose to reach for the light, to go beyond those dark places and to create a more positive future for themselves and for the people around them.